Hey guys, okay, so here is another Deco Art Monday, and I promised before we would get too far into doing lots of really fun, interesting projects with the paints, we'd do some paint comparisons. One of the things I wanted to do, not only for you guys, but for my own personal reference, was compare the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylic with the Golden Fluid Acrylic. Um, I found that a lot of the colors are either, they at least in the bottle, they look really close, if not the same. I don't know if they're gonna spread the same or be the same opacity or transparency, but that's what we're going to find out. I um, pulled out a few. I don't want to do all of them, to be honest with you, but I pulled out a few. I pulled out um, Teal in both, Payne's Gray, Titan Buff, Hansi Yellow Medium, Viridian, and there's three bottles there we'll talk about when we get to that color, and um, Thalo Turquoise. So let's do them one at a time. I went ahead and put some um, feud ball black ink on these Rolodex cards so that we could see if we're going to be able to see the ink through the paint or not. Before we put any paint on there, I'm going to put golden and then deco art. So we know which is which. And then we're going to take a little bit of each paint on this brush. And let's just see what happens. This is the Deco Art Cobalt Teal Hue. These two are a little bit different in color. So it spreads really nicely. It's not super opaque. Back in the drawer. I'm going to rinse off my brush and let's try the golden. The golden is a little, um, it's a slightly different color and it's a lot more opaque. But you can still see the pen through it, but not as much. So, in all fairness, let's get the Deco Art one back out. No, it's still, it's a lot more opaque. The color is really nice. I actually think I like the color better, but it's definitely more transparent than that golden. All right, so that is the teal. So I'm gonna write the color on there. Okay. So the next one we're gonna do is Payne's Gray. When I've done Payne's Gray comparisons in the past, that golden one always seems to be a lot more blue than the other brands, but let's find out. Rinse our brush off. First we have our Deco Art. And even if these are more transparent, um, they are more affordable than the golden. Okay, there is the... Um, Deco art. It's fairly it's fairly opaque, but it's not very blue, and that just depends. I think it's personal t preference. What kind of Payne's gray color that you like? I will use them all, but I like one that is um, more blue. My Payne's gray bottle is all icky. That's better. It won't close all the way. All right, let's shake it up a little bit because it's been sitting for a little. If they've been sitting for a while, you want to give them a good shake before you do this. Okay, so here is the golden. See how much more blue it is? And, but they have about the same opacity, so that's nice to know, but they are definitely different colors. So, let's paint gray. Next, we will do the Thalo turquoise. turquoise. We're going to do the Titan Buff last since it's the lightest color, because I'll probably end up getting a clean brush. Okay, so this is Thalo Turquoise. And right away, I can tell you that the golden one looks a lot more green than the deco art. 
just because the paints have the same color name doesn't mean they're the same color and they're different brands like this. I have to look at the label to see how to spell it because I always spell it wrong. Oh, see, I did it again. Spelled it wrong. Oh, well. It's going to stay that way now. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's spelled wrong. <laughs> and I know that. You don't have to point it out to me. <laughs> okay, so this is the golden. And I think it's going to be greener than the deco art one. I think the deco art one's going to be pretty blue. So there's golden. Is the deco art one and so you can tell before you take it out of the bottle it look I don't know if you guys can see that on camera but definitely looks more blue see I actually like the deco art color better because I think it's more of a true turquoise So far, the opacity is about the same. It's pretty close, except for the teal. So let's do another one. So now... This is the Golden Viridian Green Hue, and it's pretty green. This is the DecoArt Viridian and it is bluer and darker. They also have this Thalo green yellow but it's not even close. So I wasn't sure which one. We're going to do the two Viridians. We're going to compare them straight across like we've been doing. Okay. So first we have our golden which is pretty green. And pretty transparent. And this is that was Viridian Green Hue, and this one is just just says Viridian, and it's a lot darker green. It's still a green, but it's a lot darker, and it looks like it's yeah, more of a yellow green. And it's a lot more opaque. I do like it though. They seem to um, both go on very nicely and smoothly. They um, will go back and look at them after they're dry, but they seem to have the same kind of finish on them. Okay, so now we have Hansa Yellow Medium. Okay, so golden. Deco art. Okay, so this is the golden, and this is a pretty transparent color, as are most yellows. It's a nice bright yellow. This is the deco art. Mm, they're pretty close. I don't know that I'd be able to tell the difference just having them sit on the card and tell you which one is which. Those are pretty close. I don't know that I'd be able to tell the difference there. They seem to have the same texture, they go on the same, they um, are both nicely fluid, well pigmented. Okay, let's see. We have one more. So this is Titan Buff. Let me try it 
try to get just the Titan buff and not traces of any of the other colors in there. So let's see how <laughs> well I went to the brush up. I don't know. So this is a nice, just sort of creamy, beigey, sandy color. It's a nice neutral color. Not super opaque. This is going to be the deco art. There's a slight difference there. The deco art's a little bit more on the red side, but not too much. They're pretty close. Again, I don't know that I'd really be able to tell which tell you which one without seeing the bottle is which. Okay, so I'm gonna line these all up and I'm gonna zoom back out again. So there we have it. There are our Deco Art Fluid Acrylic Paint Comparisons. My overall opinion is that although some of the colors are different, that's to be expected between brands of paint and that has nothing to do with the fact that they're fluid acrylics. Even if you got heavy bodies of the same colors in different brands, you'd still get a difference in color. Um, I like the texture of the paint. I like the finish of the paint. Um, it's really easy to apply. It seems to be fairly well pigmented. I think it's a good value for the money. I would definitely recommend it, um, especially if you can't afford golden um, or you want to supplement your golden. Now they don't have as many colors, so you probably want to get the colors DecoArt does have and then supplement them with other colors from maybe golden or somebody else. But I would definitely recommend them. For more information and where you can buy, please go to decoart.com and thank you to decoart for donating the paints to me to do this with. Um, look forward in the future to some canvases, journal pages, and other art projects done with their paints. Um, I'm excited to give some things a try and I will see you all later. Don't forget to go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later.